Welcome to my channel where I share my thoughts on various topics. In this video, I want to talk about a recent case that caught my attention in Jamaica. In a recent case, a woman was charged for the murder of a pregnant woman who was five days away from giving birth. She is also charged for the murder of a man. However, some people said she should be charged with three murders, which means she should also be charged with the murder of the unborn child. But it seems Jamaica's law is different from the U.S. According to an article published in the Jamaica Gleaner, the Children's Advocate of Jamaica proposed that the existing law be changed to establish culpability for persons who have caused the expulsion of a fetus by murdering its mother while still pregnant. She made this suggestion after witnessing the brutal deaths of five pregnant women in 2012 alone. She argued that those who murder pregnant women should be held responsible for the murder of two persons in one incident. However, the current law of Jamaica does not recognize fetuses as human beings who can be murdered. This is based on the ancient common law definition of murder by Sir Edward Coke, which states that murder is when a person unlawfully kills any reasonable creature in rerum natura, in being, under the king's peace, with malice aforethought. This means that a fetus has to be fully expelled from the uterus and exist wholly and independently of the mother before it can be considered a human being. This is different from the U.S. law, which has enacted the Unborn Victims of Violence Act of 2004 or Lacey and Connor's law. This law protects unborn children from assault and murder by making it a separate offense to cause the death or injury of a child who is in utero at the time of the conduct. The punishment for this offense is the same as the punishment for that conduct had it occurred to the mother, except if the person intentionally kills or attempts to kill the unborn child, then he or she will be punished as if they killed or attempted to kill a human being. So, what do you think about this issue? Should Jamaica change its law to protect unborn children from murder? Or should it maintain its current position based on common law?